What's going on everyone? So on this video, I'm going to start off talking about the fishing trip that I just went on, how everything kind of came together to this seafood paella. So the day started off on the bay where I was looking for some clams. I ended up with about a dozen clams for this catch and cook. And with those clams, I decided that I was going to go and try to catch a fish so I can make a seafood clam paella. I got to the spot where I wanted to fish. It was a jetty and the idea was I was going to drop a high-low rig with green crabs, sand fleas, and clams. So I actually caught the sand fleas right there at the jetty. I went over to the beach, took a shovel, took a scoop of sand right close to the water line and was digging around for some sand fleas. I got a pretty good amount of them and that was one of the baits that worked pretty well. So I fished for about two hours at the jetty looking for whatever was biting. I was thinking maybe trigger fish, tautog, Really, you never know what's gonna show up at the jetty, but it, it only really ended up being small fish, small togs, small black sea bass, and I couldn't get a keeper fish. I still wanted to do a catch and cook though, because I had those beautiful clams from the bay, so I went to the store and got a few other ingredients and made a clam paella. I really hope you enjoy this one, guys. So I got my clams here. I purged them when I caught them the other day. They're nice and clean, ready to go, and I'm going to make a paella with this. It's not gonna be super traditional, we're gonna throw it together pretty quick and let's see how it comes out. Gonna slice up some chorizo. We are gonna put some olive oil in the pan. Use the last of this one. And put that chorizo in there. Start getting it nice and crispy. And while that's crisping up, we're gonna put in our vegetables. So we're gonna start seasoning this up. A little bit of salt there, a little bit of pepper. Add in a little bit of tomato paste in there. Give that a mix. Some chopped tomatoes. Along with a little bit of white wine. And I know this is not a completely traditional paella, but I think it's gonna taste pretty good. Let that all reduce a little bit. A little bit of smoked paprika. The next ingredient that you can't forget is saffron, and this completely changes the dynamic of this dish, so you have to have saffron. It does get pretty expensive, but it is worth it. We're gonna put a nice pinch of that in there. Next is seafood stock. So we have our paella rice, like we said, and that's gonna get sprinkled right in. And it's really important that this broth is seasoned nicely with salt and pepper, because that rice is just gonna suck up all that flavor. And our clams. We're just gonna set those right in there. Big old Jersey clams. That's gonna flavor that broth as well. Big one goes in the middle. Paella is coming along, and at this stage, you don't really want to stir it because you want to get that crust on the bottom. You can give it a shake, make sure nothing's really sticking too much, but so far, so good. So we got those Jersey clams there, but we still have room for shrimp and scallops, and that's really gonna make this amazing. Season those, and we're gonna lay those shrimp in there. Scallops. I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit and let those shellfish kind of steam up. Wow. It's been like 10 minutes. 
these clams are starting to open. I think it's gonna push those shrimp down. And holy cow. This is looking good. He's gonna try it. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. So I took the lid off. I'm just gonna let this paella just absorb a little bit more of that stock and this thing is done. Our paella is finishing up. We're just gonna tuck these little lemon wedges in there. Add a little bit of parsley. And that is it. So that paella is done. I'm gonna give it a shot right here. Piece of that chorizo. Unreal, absolutely unreal. I'm gonna try clam here. A nice jerky clam. It's amazing. All right, if you guys like this recipe, the fish and trip, the catch and cook, please hit that subscribe button for more recipes like this. Stick around, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna go finish this one up. That crust. Oh Look my at that. gosh. Oh yeah. I thought the video was over, but this is just a dream here. A little lemon on there too. It's so good. All right, for real. See you on the next one.